Hello. Um, I'll do some Netrunner streaming here. I have a Grail Ice Chronos protocol build that I want to test out. It is based on a build by Kiv, uh, which I think was posted on the Stimhack thread about Chronos protocol. Uh, well, until somebody joins, we can take a peek at the deck list. So I import all nine Grail Ice, a few other good Chinteki Ice. Um, not a whole lot of net damage, but our agendas do a lot of net damage with Fetal AI and House of Knives. Um, Econ is all operations. The original list had even more Econ ops. It had uh, three successful demo and two targeted mar marketing. Um, I cut that back a bit because I don't think it was super necessary and the ice suite is rather affordable. Um, what's our most expensive thing? Like Merlin, probably. And even then, you can keep Merlin in hand to land the subroutines. Um, got some defensive upgrades, a couple shocks. And that's it. So the idea is uh, clearly to trash programs out of the runner's grip. Um, make it really difficult for them to set up because they'll need a full breaker sweep. Um, against the Grail ice, uh, make money and protect things with our Psy game upgrades. Uh, not, not too complex. Um, if anything, I would say the ideal scoring pattern is one House of Knives and then two Future Perfect. But we'll find out. Okay. So got to I've got a runner here. I'm going to be Andy. Um, let's see. We only have one piece of ice. But we got plenty. Econ. Let's do it. Uh, front of HQ. And then maybe draw. Okay, well, better that future perfect goes into our hand than sits on top of R&D. And Andy goes, complete setup turn, lots of money coming in. Security testing. Testing probably shouldn't be very good against us, so... Do I gift this hand that has... Two agendas in it. I think I do. And then putting Lancelot over R and D doesn't do anything this turn with no programs, so I will just click for a credit. Security testing won't be great because we're going to ice up every server eventually. And it's really just a question of getting to the long game. If we can endure Andy's initial start, um, and Andy hasn't installed any breakers, so if we do land net damage, we can potentially knock things out. Oh, damn. Um, okay, so they're probably going to bid zero. They're going to know that I'm just flooded in my hand, too. Mm. Damn. Oh, that is such a terrible start. Okay. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? All three Future Perfect were, like, in a row. Okay, well, clearly...
Mm. Really need some ETR ice. Merlin is good. Install the R and D <clears throat> and install in R and D. That may not be right. Um, I don't think he's, no, he saw the Lancelot in my hand, so he knows I'm on Grail. I wonder. I wonder if Andy sits back and plays a little bit conservative now with such a big lead. So SMC to Jin, what? I don't know why you would do that. Oh, Jesus. Sneak door into my hand and look at my frickin' hand. Probably now three sneak door runs, right? And then this is where you have that weird interaction between security testing and sneak door. Okay, that's one less click, two less clicks that wasn't an HQ run. So I'm pretty happy with that. Ah, um, this is just terrible for us. Okay, see successful demo. That's fine. So I'm going to need to throw last piece of grill ice over archives. But at least then there's no security testing targets. Masanori also um, and let's do criminals almost always play corroder. So try to shut that down. Um, we haven't seen any, yeah, we don't really know what's happening with this deck, so. I feel like targeted marketing corroder is pretty good. Okay, so that's going to be expensive. Actually, yeah. Breaks two subroutines and continues. And then we will batty. Um, what do we want to do here? Damn. Um, Let's 
So they're going to get a credit and a card. You may have spend one cred. What? I don't understand why this person thinks I won the side game. Okay, but. Oh, they had security testing on R&D. It's terrible. So they just lose a credit, but draw a card. And risk Batty blowing stuff up there. Okay, so now I have two Grail Ice in hand. But I am beginning to get into serious trouble. the ditch successful demo because that hand is almost entirely agendas. This is just not good all around. I really need Jackson. Memory almost used up. Hmm. Okay. They meant to install both data suckers on Jin, I would assume. Break Galahad, I'm going to take net damage. That seems good to me. Whoa. Um, I'm almost certainly going to choose legwork. Yeah, I, I can tell that, dude. I mean, I have to choose legwork here, right? 
I don't even have ETR ice over, and he knows at least two agendas. This is one of those not yet automated things on Shinteki.net, so it's super tedious. Um, special order. Finally get that resolved. I draw into a Galahad, which is nice. Um, let's put it in a new remote. Let's put House of Knives in that remote. And let's click for a credit. Um, I think this is a scoring window. They're going to want to draw up and they only have one credit. Um, targets my scoring server. Bank job. Okay, so, I mean, my money is not in a good sh position, but all servers protected. Uh, Adam Bomb has been rather conservative in checking things. Actually, not really. I mean, face check R&D and archives. But after getting burned on archives, we'll probably be more conservative. Uh, John Masamori makes things really hard, too. Uh, yep, clicking for credits. Cool. Let's put Caprice over HQ and then gain credits. tough that we can't put Caprice in the scoring server, but that would just be too early right now. <laughs> All the clicks for credits. Okay. Cool. Ooh, Cortex lock. Nice. Okay. Um... Decide what I want to do here, though. Put it over. Scoring remote. And game credits. Okay, so here comes Corroder, which means I'm going to gain 10. I have a baddie in Archives, which is a great target for Crick. So I assume it's going to be Install Corroder. Run.
I don't want to hit no more action because then if they click successful run, they'll draw with Masanori. Rex R&D interface HQ interface and Akamatsu mem chip. Okay, so definitely not the mem chip. Already has a Rex on the table. Get rid of some multi access. Oof, that was tough. Is that really how that works? Do I not have a Caprice window on HQ? Um, install over archives. And I can draw. Oh, thank God, Jackson. That seems like a next turn type thing. Had HQI in hand, but has no money, so that's fine. Okay. Cool. So we'll go into server zero. We will draw a couple cards. Shock, sweet. That also almost makes me not want to. Yeah, I want to discard shock and the future perfect, right? So let's just click for credit. It'd be nice to try and run him through the grinder with sh shock, but I don't really think that's the play right now. Okay, should I go for a score? Um, can't break. Can't break, but only does one net damage, and then I would lose the game. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can go for a score. Ooh, unless I get Batty over HQ. Into server zero. And draw a couple. Did that in a very wrong order, but we drew into another shock, which is awesome. Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, I got everything double iced up here. Um, HQ is easily the most vulnerable, but uh oh, Katie's probably gonna help economy a lot here. Uh, jeez. I can do a lot of net damage on runs into this scoring server, though. Let's shuffle back in Caprice. Uh, we want to leave at least one installable, so we'll leave Batty. Um, hedge fund. And, oh, the agenda, obviously. Okay, another House of Knives, perfect. That'll give us a chance to What do, what do I want to protect here? I'm not sure Baku is just worth installing anywhere. And this is starting to look like a flatline victory. If I get a second House of Knives scored, I have two Marlins in hand. So R&D is Trasher Program and Format Damage. It's got to be a Mimic somewhere, though, in this deck, so let's see. That RDI might be the only multi-access, too. I probably didn't want to cut that off. I probably wanted to tempt the runner into a R&D. And looks like they are conceding this score. Which turns out to be a bigger deal than they would have thought. Andy runs on the server. One net damage. Oh no. Three net damage. Batty again for three net damage. Okay, this yeah, this is a killer server now with all that extra memory that just landed. Plus two net off of House of Knives. Galahad is breakable. I could even throw an additional Cortex lock in front though. Um there's a whole lot of death in that server. Even, say, install, install. Okay. Oof. That was, I think this is game. HQ, Rex, same old passport. 
Uh, let's get rid of consistent breaker. It doesn't really matter at this point. GG. Um, so this is not meant to be a flatline deck, but when you get two House of Knives scored and can do four net damage, it works pretty well. Um, and we would have had a flatline in this server as well. Uh, so just tough stuff all around. This this has a lot less kill in it than uh, my first anticipated builds, but it obviously still works simply because of Merlin and the Grail Ice, and even though we were in a really rough start, um, by the end, being able to draw into Grail, um, just biding our time, building up double ice on all servers, uh, put us in a great situation, so. And thanks for watching, y'all.